Hi guys. So this is what I love about my husband. Um, we're trying to figure out the electrical and where we want all the plugins and stuff, but we realized we needed to determine something alongside my chair, the passenger chair. So let me show you what we're working on. And when you give Randy a challenge, he just says, well, let's just go mock something up and we'll see how it works. So that's what we're doing. We're stopping and um, we're mocking up a temporary cabinet to see how it's gonna work. So I'll show you what we're, what we're um, attempting to fit a cabinet. So here's the passenger chair, front door, you know, coming in. And I thought it would be really cool in this space right here beside my chair if I could have a little cubby that would hold our maps and um, my iPad and stuff like that, cup holder or armrest on top, you know, plug-ins so I can plug everything in. So just everything is centrally located right there. But as you can see, we don't have a lot of room to work with. So we've got about, I think it's about five or six inches. So we're gonna just go mock something up to put in this space right here and see how it works. So let's head into the shop. Okay, people, the moment of truth. We have it mocked up somewhat, and then we even came up with some more ideas once we were building it. So let's see if it's gonna fit. It huh? matters how pretty it mocked. Well, no, no, because it could show our little hole that we were thinking of. So. That's funny. Hey, this is all exciting stuff for me. Wow. We made it to, it has to go like that in order to be on the plywood, huh? That's where the wall, it's gonna be a quarter inch thicker there, actually. There's gonna be quarter inch plywood on that too, by. Yeah, there you go, that's where it's gonna go. Oh, my hand fits, barely. Ooh, that's a little tight to be able to flip my seat. So yes, you could come in this way. We'll try it and see how that works. No clearance. No. No. Oh, bummer. Yeah, one of your main desires just got pooped. Mm. Huh? I want it. <laughs> Well, how thick the, I mean, let's just it make could, it, it an inch make, skinnier. Yeah, it could be totally skinnier. It doesn't have to be this thick. We could knock it down an inch. Well, let's go do that. Okay. That's why we mock things up to find out, huh? Right. Okay. But I could totally do this to turn the chair. All right. Well, let's but, go take an inch off and see if that clears. Okay. Let's do that. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh this so, is good, people. <laughs> so this is a close fit, right? But we're thinking like woodworkers. Oh! Let's make this sucker out of sheet metal and we'll, we'll gain an inch. Oh, you're absolutely right! We have the same inside dimension if we just bend this out of sheet metal. Yeah, I could have a metal box. I could have a metal shelf and then we'll just put a nice piece of wood up on the top of it, right? Yeah, on the, on the front face. We're putting this on just to see how the seat will swivel back and forth and the, for our clearance. So what we did was we cut the board um, we cut it down from four inches to three and a half to see if that's going to be uh, We opened it up. We moved it an inch. Oh, did we? Yeah. Okay. Because, hey, let's face it, I'm primarily going to be the navigator, and um, I want to have all the comforts that I need right here in this chair to be navigating when we are um, out on the road. So that's what we're trying to achieve here. Close. So this one's going to go down here. So he brought out some. That's where the wall is down there. And so what happens is it keeps sliding back on us because of the gap back here. I think all we have to do is re release this. Let's see. Oh no, that, that's all the way forward. There. That one. No, no, no. That's, that's gonna make... give you the clearance. See? Oh. If Holy you do God. that, we could Oh, we could make it wider. You could come back over. 
but you have to do that every, every time you want to swivel the chair. And are we going to remember to do that if somebody's Well, it gonna... won't turn if you don't do it. So it's that. Yeah, it's the. This is the back. Right, the, the okay, back. So we have got this kind of zeroed in. The concept was that the Atlas would slide down in and store here with a flip up lid, which gives us space down below for two cubbies to slide in from this end, this way and this way for us to put stuff in as we come in the door. So this is gonna be sweet. We did determine that it doesn't need to quite be this long in the back and um, it's not quite wide enough for a cup holder so we're gonna cut it back and then just mount a cup holder here on the wall probably. So it, it's a win-win all around. I have got my little cubby for um, when we're navigating. I'm so excited. You've got all the critical measurements uh, yes. for your little cubby. So I will put my main man on it and down the road you will see that completed. So um, thanks for following us on this journey and watching us try to figure stuff out along the way. We really, really appreciate all your support that you guys give us and just know that we love each and every one of you guys and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.